Hi guys and welcome to Dead Island 1. As you can see, I haven't actually played this game before and I've no idea how to play it. So I'm going to get some throwing expert, firearms, sharp weapon. Kind of feel like... Hmm... 90 health, 20 speed and stamina. So she has crappy stamina. But I'll go with I her. I hate rich assholes. Which is fucking ironic, since I'm expected to put my bloody life on the line for them. That's what they pay me for. This pricey hotel here. To be a bodyguard for the rich and famous fuckwits who come to Benoy to blow their money. I used to be a cop. A bloody good one. A vice detective in Sydney. You know how many female half-Aborigine detectives there were before me? None. <laughs> you think it was easy? Suffering the abuse of my so-called colleagues. Half of them hated me because I was a girl. And the other half didn't like the fact that my mum was a curry. So I came up the hard way. I busted my ass. It took me 12 years to make detective, and that still wasn't enough. It's an old boys club, you know? The whole justice system is a fucking joke. Teenage drug addicts get put away forever, and old white wankers who steal fucking millions get away scot-free. <laughs> One rich bugger I investigated was clearly molesting his 14-year-old daughter. But he had too much pull with the politicians, so I couldn't touch him. After the girl killed herself, I confronted him, but he just laughed at me. He pulled out a pistol and told me he could blow my bleeding head off, and no one would care. Because I was nothing. A nobody. An abo bitch. So I fucking took his gun away and shot the bastard. It was self-defense, but I still got sacked. Twelve bloody years down the drain. Worst part is, I didn't even kill the son of a bitch. I just yelled at him. One day, I'm gonna have to go back and finish the job. So, now that we know her complete story from start to finish, we won't need to play the game, really. No, I'm kidding. Right. Oh, yeah, I'm downloading Halo Reach because it's the free game this month. Um, Yeah, I've never played this game before, and a couple of people have suggested I play scary games, which I'm absolutely poor at because I'm really scared, and I don't jump scare easy. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I do jump scare easy. That's what I'm trying to say. The jump scares like terrify me. I don't mind the blood and the guts and the gore, but so when the second something jumps out at me, I'm just done. So done. But I've um I've got Dead Island. Whoa, this is weird moving around. Um, I've got Dead Island Riptide as well, and I tried to play that and got too scared. So we're gonna start with this one. Um, hmm. Okay, so we can just thump people. Sounds great. Now. Are you gonna stay there? Excuse me. Pardon me. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, that'll do. Constituent parts for modifying a weapon. Yay! I'm gonna turn something into a battery murdering machine. What's this? Is that just to say that? I've, yeah. Okay. Not going in there. It's too dark. But we're gonna raid these poor people's cupboards anyway. Oleander. I don't know what that means. Cards, I'm assuming. Oh, cash. Cool. Get a feeling something scary is going to happen. Mm. Mm hmm. Hint, hint. Yeah, because some deodorant and a telephone are going to help me wildly. See, in these games, they're like, oh, look, you found a phone, but you can never actually use the bloody thing. Um. Trying to decide who that was that was talking, but it's, um, not my problem. What down? Okay. Yeah, but these fucking scary buggers—they don't like flashlights. Oh, alcohol. Okay, we'll get roused. Um. Okay. Wallet. Wire. Okay. Don't want anything else. Scared now. What? All right. Stick down. What? Down. Look at. Okay, so down. The, okay, down and up again. Fuck. Okay, don't care. It's fine. It took me fucking six years to get through there, but we got through there in the end. Can I go in here? No. 
This feels like a weird like movement thing. It's a flip flop maybe. Nine dollars. More cash money. Anything that new? No. Fucking scary shit in there, probably. That's great. Nothing in the bath. It's fine. So it's scary shit normally hides in the bath. Uh, nothing you can even do in here anyway. Um, oh, I can jump. Okay. Oh, so the blue bar is stamina. Right, we're getting somewhere. Oh, hello. I love uh, surprises. Oh, no surprises, full of surprises. No surprises, I think she said. I really want to play this with another person though because I'm kind of scared of scary games. Like I keep mentioning. Mm, I feel like this is game playing bait thingy. I feel like they're doing this on purpose to um, get me to come out here just so they can scare the shit out of me. Okay, whoops. Okay, so that's off now. I think I ran out of battery. Um, duct tape. No, but I found batteries, didn't I? They said something about using it to make a gun. Which is fucking strange. I'm beginning to think this is a very old game. Dun dun dun! People raining from the sky! That's kind of strange though. Um, yeah, take this, open this other one, just get really fucking wrecked because it's not a good idea to do this sober, I don't reckon. So much stuff, so much stuff, so much stuff, so much stuff. There better be a shop around here somewhere. Just because there's a zombie apocalypse does not mean that people can just not do their jobs. Okay. Oh yeah, there's zombies in this, in case you guys have been living in a cupboard of some kind and don't know what this is about. All I know is zombies. Don't know... Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I don't know... How, or where, or what, or why. Fuck, I don't want to do this. Um... Okay. So I opened the door and I've just got to go back outside. That was great. I didn't even open it though. Shit in the way. Okay. Elevator shaft. Where's that? Um, oh, okay. We were going to see if we could go up in the elevator. And it's basically saying, oh, by the way, the elevator is broke. Ah. Um. Mm. The fuck? Where is it? Hatch, what? Where are we even fucking looking? So it's around here somewhere. Now I'm stuck. Very, very stuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Found it. Oh. Hold the button. What? Oh, I pressed it. Oh, this is going to be great. It's going to be an elevator to hell. Whoa, there's a person. Nope. Several people. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I can see it through the camera. Feeling all right, mate? No shakes? Fever? Chills? Good eye, mate. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, we've got to get you the hell out of there. Um. Exactly as I say, okay? You're going to have to trust me. No. First, you need to get hold of a weapon. Well. Search in the maintenance storage room by the end of the corridor. I would move if I were you. Now. Well, how and where and who and what? Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to go down here. Get really fucking creeped out. No, 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 no. Maybe I'll find something useful. Ah, uh, don't sneeze. 
I don't think I'm gonna sneeze. I think I'm okay. I'm fine. This doesn't look like the kind of place I want to be though. Just take everything. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Where? Uh. I have no idea where they're coming from or where I'm going, but I'm just gonna keep going that way and hide. Safe. You lose. There's gonna be like 10 of them behind me. Yeah, for as much. Great, now I'm dead. So I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. No, I'm just kidding. I think. I'm not really dead, am I? That'd suck. Did what he said. Okay, so we can have incendiary weapons. Sounds good. Loading a resort. Ooh, what? Hello. Going on? I'm doing it. No! Didn't I oh, tell you? you no, stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Not your head! Not your bloody head! Yeah. You again. Yeah, I understand. Fuck off. Gonna fucking beat you to death and burn that shirt, mate. Bite him in the head. Gonna be really funny. Very fucking close, I just saw. Now what? Who's talking and being weird? You owe him your life. Now what? Someone said Simba's outside. I've gotta go re rescue Simba. Let's go. I've no idea what he's called. No, I'm going to find Simba. No. You need to find a weapon. I was gonna get one out of that thing. Oh. So find a weapon. RT. Woof. Are they like. Oh no, they're comforting each other. I thought they were like making out. Hmm. Not yet. I just want fucking something to beat someone with. Um. Please don't be a weirdo. What's this? Energy drink. Wee. Fuck, I should have stopped. Um, uh, I don't have a weapon. A hey, fact, okay. Nope. I think I'm looking in the wrong place. Oh, fuck it. Let's just go with that one. I don't know where they are. Okay, that'll do. Uh, I think they're trying to tell me I need to get a paddle to beat stuff to. Beat stuff with. One, three. One, two. Killed him. What's going on? Who are we after? Red man. Boof. I fucking suck, man. I get thumped once and that's it. I'm fucking down. Ugh, this is weird. His fighting style is making my head feel weird. I feel fucking drunk. Killed it. Turn around! How's my stamina now? Seems good. Where? Oh. No, they're not. He lied. That's the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. He looks he looks like a prisoner, he does not look like a lifeguard. Do we really know who this man is? Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Shit. Hello? We were just yes. Hello. Listen, your friend from the hotel's away. Definitely Simba. Been immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. Am I not a she, not a he? I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. 
I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? G'day, mate. God damn it. Just touch and go with you for a while. Getting the hang of this. Okay, I'm going to pause it here and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.